Hello and praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord Jesus. Welcome. This is my prayer closet and I am so honored that you chose to click the link when you saw this video for healing our minds. If it's your first time here, this is what we do, okay? We pray on this channel. We study God's word on this channel. And we just provide you practical tips to help you live your life victoriously. If you need prayer, Bible study, or tips, would you please join our faith family by hitting the subscribe button, which is the red button on the right side of your screen. In the natural realm, when you hit that subscribe button, YouTube considers you a priority for my videos and they place my videos in your feed. Um, but in the spiritual sense, I consider you a part of my family, uh, kind of a covenant family. And I pray over every one of my subscribers seven days a week. And I also take individual prayer requests. In fact, um, for all of my sisters, uh, returning sisters, anybody, you can always place your prayer request below the video for the day or you can um, send them to me. I have an email sign up and I take prayer requests there as well. Um, but I'm, I'm so grateful. I, I just consider it such an honor to be able to serve y'all in prayer. I mean that all week long has been total healing week. Hallelujah. And we've been praying for healing in different areas of our lives. Now, if you may recall, um, we're working on memorizing a scripture. I've been working on this scripture this week. I don't have it down just yet, but it is from 1 Thessalonians 5.23. I'm going to try to close my eyes and say it because this is one I don't know. Uh, may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. All right, let me open my eyes and see if I said it right. May the may God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul, and body. Yay, I got it. I can't stress the importance of attempting to memorize scripture. Maybe you won't memorize one a week because that is a little aggressive, but I would recommend trying to memorize scripture, one scripture a month or, or two scriptures a month. Because y'all, when you memorize scripture, I probably need to do a video about this. So I'm not talking too much. Yeah, I think I'll do a video about this. Just the importance of memorizing scripture. I think I'm going to do that. But anyway, but that's our memory verse. And um, we want our minds to be healed. Um, there are things in our past. Or there are things that just plague us that cause us to meditate on the negative. And we don't want to meditate on the negative. That might cause us to doubt ourselves, to doubt God. Uh, there are things in our minds that might cause us to live in fear or anxiousness or anxiety or depression. Um, our minds are absolutely powerful, y'all. And God wants our minds to be completely healed of any and everything that would plague us. As women, um, it can we 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 are so susceptible to the enemy's attack on our minds and our emotions. And what this prayer is all about is for your total healing, sister. Okay, come on, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much, Lord, and praise your holy name, and lift you up and magnify your precious name, Lord, because you are worthy to be praised, Lord. I pray right now for each and every one of my sisters that's listening to the sound of my voice. And I call their minds healed in the name of Jesus. Lord, no weapon formed against their minds will prosper. And every tongue that rises against them in judgment, Lord, you're going to condemn it. Father, we're not condemned women. We're not women that are anxious. The Bible tells us to fix our minds on you, the author and the finisher of our faith. The Bible also tells us in Isaiah 26, 3, uh, that thou shalt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. And so, Father, I am declaring that each and every one of my sisters is listening. Their minds are stayed on you, Lord. 
Father, I come against any attack on their minds, any attacks uh, that will try to corrode their minds. I come against the spirit of Alzheimer's. I come against the spirit of dementia. I come against that. And I declare that these women will not be susceptible to any kind of mental illness. I bless their minds in the name of Jesus. I say they are healed and whole because you died by your stripes. Their minds are healed. And so, Father, I'm just decreeing that every single woman right now lifts their hands and puts their hands on their foreheads as a point of contact. And I declare they're healed. Lord, let them not live in subtle torment. Let them not be susceptible to the enemy's craftiness coming up against them. I come against the spirit of insecurity that is incubating in their minds. I come against it right now. I come against that stagnation spirit that's plaguing them, that's keeping them down. I come against the accuser. We know that Satan comes to steal and kill and destroy from them. But Lord, that's not your will. I come against it in the name of Jesus. I say depression, you leave now. You filthy, dirty spirit. You get your hands off their minds. Get your hands off their emotions right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, these women don't have to be plagued with worry. The Bible tells us to fret not, to worry not. So these women are healed of worry right now. These women will not worry about their kids or their grandkids. They will not worry because their minds are healed and whole in the name of Jesus. And so I plead the blood over their mind. Hallelujah right now. And I say as they lay hands on their minds, their hands on their heads, they're receiving this word by faith. Come precious Holy Spirit, help them to renew their minds. Help them to be transformed by your word, Lord. Hallelujah. They're not subject to generational curses on their minds. They're not subject to bondage against them, Lord. The chains are broken. The chains are broken off their minds today. Hallelujah. We believe we receive everything, Lord, that we've just prayed. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Sisters, I want to I want to thank y'all as usual for joining me. Um, y'all, I just can't tell you how much I hate the devil. Um, I do. And if you are a believer and you don't hate him, honey, I don't know. But I hate him. And um, he's so wicked and so evil and does so many things to try to trick us into a wrong way of thinking. The devil cannot control your mind. And if you believe that, sister, let me tell you something. If you are saved, the devil cannot control your mind. The Bible tells us that we are tempted. He can tempt us, but you, you have to decide. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have to decide. I will resist this temptation. I will resist the urge to meditate on that. I will resist this attack. The Bible says to submit ourselves to God, to flee temptation, to flee, resist the devil so he can flee from us. And so we resist him right now. That's what you got to do. And the way you do it, when the attack comes on your mind, I want you to do this. If y'all could see me in my prayer closet, um, when the attack, it can be a little thing, a evil thought pops in your head, a negative thought, a nasty thought, a vile thought, uh, a pornographic thought, a humiliating thought, a shameful thought. None of those thoughts 
are from Jesus. Do you hear me? None of those thoughts are from the Lord. And so when, when that little thought of shame or that little thought of sadness or that li- it pops on you, that fear, you said, no, you stop, you stand. I want you to, uh, to take your feet and you stomp your foot one time on the ground lightly, not crazy. And you say, no, that thought is from the devil and I'm resisting him right now in the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus. And then you then replace that thought with a new thought. I am who God says I am. I have been set free. Therefore, I'm free indeed. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. That's what you do. You stop that thought in its tracks. You stomp your foot lightly. You stop the thought. And then you immediately replace it with the word. That's why memorizing scripture is so important. Man, I'm so fired up about this because I hate how the devil uses our minds against us. And God gave us our minds for good. But the devil wants to trick us into believing something different. He's a liar. And I'm calling him out again. Again. Y'all don't stop praying. Don't stop coming to this channel at least a few times a week. And you come back in six months and you say, oh my God, my life's still the same. It's still the same. And that's what the devil wants. Anyway, y'all, I'm all fired up and I hadn't even had my coffee yet. I had some tea this morning. Maybe it was a tea. I'm all fired up. I love y'all. And I'll be back tomorrow, the Lord willing, okay? Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.